all that freaking noise. Yep, it's official. I think they finally might be out on their full force, the cicadas. Doesn't that sound obnoxious? The crickets sound like they're at a full-blown war with the cicadas, trying to outdo them each other with their completely obnoxious mating calls. Look how many dead ones are on the ground. And here we have Ringo. Ringo. Yeah, I'm walking Ringo today, so yeah. Where is she? Can I get her here? Or so yeah. I remember when these cicadas were around when I was in fourth grade. They were real trendsetters, total trendsetters. I mean, it was like a fad, and I was the one who started it. You see, just when the cicadas started coming out of the ground, my dad gave me a box of cicada larvae to show off at school. And once I did that, uh, once I did that, all the kids started doing it. Gee, those crickets really are at war with the cicadas. Oh, they're so, they're even more obnoxious than the cicadas. Or maybe, or maybe those hissing calls aren't, are actually other cicadas. I don't know. I always thought it was the whistling that was the cicadas, not the hissing like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's hard to believe that they're finally back after 17 years. I can't help but have a little appreciation for them. I mean, they only come around once every 17 years, so. I guess it's something that some people would want to treasure, but in the end are just annoyed by it. Right, Ringo? But one thing is for sure, these crickets are even more unbearable than the cicadas. Oh, this is the point where it gets the loudest. This definitely... I've been watching a lot of like scare theater videos recently. This kind of seems like the kind of environment for found footage, wouldn't it? Hmm. Got this beaten path, creepy noises, surrounded by foliage, but still a tad bit of modernization here and there. Although, I feel like I'm just explaining the suburbs. Yeah, the glorious suburbs. Just the right, just the right um, amount, the right balance between nature and modernization. Gee, that is so loud. Wow, that's a real screeching. It's a real screeching. What do you think, Ringo? <sighs> yeah, that's miniature Pinterest for you. You've always, always got to walk them because they're so full of energy. Wait a minute. Is it me? Or does the pond seem a little more clear than usual? Yeah, I can see the pond a lot better than before. 
I wonder if the trees were cleared out or something. But yeah, this is just a fantastic path to walk on. Fantastic. Ringo absolutely loves to walk here. She is totally in her element. But then that's the same thing for all animals. Come on, Ringo, come on. You know, something I really like about dogs and cats, even though they're so sweet, friendly, cute, and cuddly, in the end, they're still full-blown carnivores. Full-blown carnivores. They eat meat, and they're supposed to eat nothing but meat. That's just, that's just the way they are. All these years of breeding, of domestication, and they're still complete carnivores. Did you know, oh wait, yeah, that's a real loud one. Yeah, that's real loud. Um, anyway, did you know that domestic cats are one of the very, very few species on Earth that hunt and kill for fun? Yeah. I heard from one source that domestic cats are the only animals besides humans that hunt for fun. My hair is in my face. Hey Ringo! Come on. Ringo. Hope I'm getting her. Ringo! Hope I'm getting her in the picture. I can only see myself right here, so yeah. Yeah, this is truly a great place for a walk. Well, I think I've annoyed you all enough with all this chirping and whistling and whatnot, so I'll see you later.